वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल्स ऑन कूलिंग कव फॉर बाइनरी एलोई विच फॉर्मिंग अ सॉलिड सोल्यूशन सो इन दिस केस ऑफ द बाइनरी एलोई दैट मीन्स इट विल बी द टू कंपोनेंट सिस्टम सो दैट विल बी हैविंग लेट्स टेक अ वन एग्जाम्पल्स सो मेटल a metal a that will be having a melting point around 1000 degree centigrade and metal b 700 degree centigrade so here that will be the binary alloy that will be made of the a and b so which forms a new materials or you can say new solid solutions a b so that will be the talking about the how the cooling curve of this binary a b materials it will be going to be changed so for better understanding of the cooling curve so just you can see it will be making the one plot so here that will be the x axis that will be representing as a time and this y axis it will be representing as a temperature in degree centigrade so for making a cooling curve for binary metal alloy a and b just you can see so according to the range of the melting point of both the binary alloy so here that will be the maximum is 1000 so let's take on points on to the y axis 200 400 800 and the x axis that will be the time so according to the given melting point of a and b so just you can make a point for a so that will be the point a so just you can make a one dotted line melting point of a materials and according to the given conditions or given assumptions metal b that will be having a melting point around 700 so just you can make a point at 700 so here so once again make a one horizontal dotted line so that would be representing as a melting point of b so for the cooling curves that will be the equilibrium conditions like that from higher temperature to slow cooling at your room temperature how it will be going to be change the different kind of phases with respect to the different temperatures with respect to time so that time temperature and phase it will be representing as a cooling curve and here that will be the two component system so it will be called as a binary alloy and forming a solid solution or you can say single phase solid solutions so just you can see here at higher temperature so we are considering at 1400 degree centigrade temperatures so we all know at higher temperatures both the metals a and b which will be into the liquid phase so at your about the melting point of both the metals so here that would be the melting point of a and b so the highest that would be the 1000s or you can considering as a more than 1000 degree centigrade both the metals it will be in the form of the liquid state so in any binary alloy in the form of liquid state which will be having a 100% solubility say at point a which will be representing as a 100% liquid material so for any composition of a or b that will be following such kind of cooling curves for the binary alloy so let's take at point a and that will be representing as a 100% liquid now according to the cooling curves that will be the slow cooling with respect to the time so just you can see cooling of binary metal a b so up to the point b so that point or you can say 
that cooling lines which will be intersect the line of the melting point of any of the two materials so which will be having a higher melting point first that will be the starting point of the solidification or by the cooling of a b materials to the room temperatures so first of all that will be intersecting at one point which will be having a higher melting point so here the metal a which will be having a higher melting point around 1000 degree centigrade so around 1000 degree centigrade that will be the starting point of the solidifications just you can see so at point b it will be the temperature at which the solid tiny particles it being forms so for understanding the microstructure at point b so just you can see these particles it will be called as a formation of nuclei or you can say that will be the tiny particles or you can say starting point of the solidifications so basically at metal a which will be having a higher melting point or you can say around 1000 for a so this nuclei it will be from metal a materials so in general case which metal of a and b which will be having a higher melting point that will be the point of the stratification or you can say that will be the starting point of the solidifications so at point b the starting point of the solidifications here with the example of metal a once again the cooling towards the room temperatures you can see so from b for slow coolings so from b to c it will be look like this because of the both the metals that will be having a different melting points so once again the solidifications it will be going on up to the point c so point c that will be the temperature of your another metals so here that will be the melting point of metal b so around 700 degree centigrade so point c that will be representing as a end point of solidification so if you want to talk about the microstructure at point c so let us see at point c so what happened at point c just you can see so that will be representing as a end point of the solidifications or you can see from b to c all the liquid form of a and b that will be converting into 100 percent solid so at point c that will be 100 percent solid so it will be making a alternate layer of metal a and metal b so during b to c all the liquid form of a and b which will be converting into the solid so just you can see for a to b regions so here for a to b regions or you can say a to b solidification process that will be 100 percent liquid but which liquid that will be a plus b and for b to c here that will be liquid plus solid for a plus b and just you can see for third or you can say from c point to d point or you can say from second melting point of the any metal towards the room temperature so that would be point number d which will be also considering as a hundred percent solid of a material plus b material so that will be the similar kind of structure is being formed at point d but just it will be the rearrangement of the structure of the solid materials of a and b so up to c to d that will be 
हंड्रेड परसेंट सॉलिड ऑफ ए प्लस बी सो इन द कूलिंग कॉ ऑफ द बाइनरी एलो सो जस्ट चेंज इन टू द मिडल एरिया और कैन से फ्रॉम बी टू सी रीजियंस सो इन केस ऑफ द प्रीवियस थियरी ऑफ द सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ प्योर मेटल और कैन से सिंगल मेटल सो डेट विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर सॉलिडिफिकेशन प्रोसेस बट हियर बी टू सी डेट विल बी नॉट एट योर कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर प्रोसेस सो Now we will see, or you can say, we will validate this cooling curve for binary alloy by Gibbs phase rule. So let us see the Gibbs phase rule. So according to the Gibbs phase rule, or you can say, modified equations of the Gibbs phase rule. So modified equations that would be considering as a constant pressure process. So over all the cooling process, or you can say, heating process, it always performing at one atmospheric constant pressure. so we are always using the modified gibbs rule so and that will be p plus f that will be equal to c plus 1 where p that will be representing the number of phases f that will be degree of freedom and c it will be the number of component systems so let us start with the different regions of ab bc and cd now for region a to b and apply the gibbs phase rule so p plus f that will be equal to c plus 1 so just you can take p over here a to b that will be 100% liquid we already discussing that of a and b or you can say at your liquid state both the matters it will be in the form of the single phase so p is equal to 1 then f We need to identify and C. Here that will be the binary alloy. So always C that will be having a two. So two plus one. So just you can see F is equal to two. So just you can note down F is equal to two for the A to B regions. So what it means two? It will be having a two variables. It will be affect onto the phase. so here the two variables one is the temperature so temperature and composition it will be changing without changing the liquid phase so just you can see. so it means that temperature and composition is changing without changing the liquid phase so during a to b it will be not changing the liquid to any other phase so just it will be drop down the temperature and it will be if you are also changing the weight percentage of a and b so this line it might be change right now talking about b to c regions and apply the gibbs phase rule so for b to c regions it will be having the two phase liquid plus solid so p is equal to 2 plus f C once again that will be the two component systems because of the binary plus one. So finally you will get F is equal to one. So F is equal to one. That means that it will be having a single variables. So according to the cooling curve of the binary alloy for B to C regions, only temperature it will be drop down because at your point number b that will be representing at the starting point of the solidifications so once it will be start the solidification process so it will be fix the compositions so only temperature is going to be change with respect to time and our liquid phase that will be converting into the 100% solid at point number c so b to c that will be only having a single degree of freedom and that will be temperature now apply for the c to d regions once again p is equal to 1 because that will be the 100% solid 1 plus f c that will be the 2 plus 1 so f is equal to 2 so just you can note down f is equal to 2 so similarly the temperature it will be changing from 700 to the room temperatures or you can say temperature is drop down 
compositions it will be also changed or you can say rearrangement of the solid structure without changing the solid phase so this cooling curve of binary alloys which will be also validated by the Gibbs phase rule so I hope you understand this theory for the cooling curve of the binary alloy to forming a solid solutions so basically solid solutions it will be having a different kind of tendency so here that will be the case of the solubility of both the metals A and B which will be having a 100% solubility which each other into the liquid state as well as into the solid state. If that solubility it will be changed so that will be having a different graphical representations or you can see cooling curves. So I hope you understand this theory. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.